Hey, submit. Hi, Monkey. How are you? Hello. Hey, Tracy. Uh, I will update right now. While we're waiting for everyone, I am going to. Um, Monkey, you might see, I went ahead and I think in the CDF Jenkins Zoom created a series. Yeah, they did. Can you see that? I, I just did that, because, but I didn't do one for today. Yeah, I, I'm going to, I just got to figure this out. I'm so confused. I'll figure it out. Just give me a second. I'm going to mute my line so you don't hear the background noise of unloading of groceries okay. because we did the zombie apocalypse shopping. <laughs> Hope you're feeling all right. <laughs> it's, <completely laughs> it's amazing. I'm like, wonder, I, I knew the toilet paper and paper towels were, you know, gone. I get that. But like ice cream, who's making a run on the chocolate chip ice cream? <laughs> like, come on now. Let's have some morals here. You don't need to run on the ice cream. I'm going to mute my line for a moment. Okay. Summit, how are things in your part of the world? Um, they're, cool. they're fine, I think. Uh, I, I stay in Delhi, so I still it's, uh, I guess, the peak has not come yet or I hope it won't so and still course. you can still get ice cream in the shops then chocolate chip <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had ice cream in the past <laughs> six months <laughs> I, I, I just talk myself on chips and not ice cream at the moment <laughs> okay hi all so welcome from CD Foundation to CD of Jenkins Zoom. <laughs> Let's do the handover. Yeah, I was publishing uh, videos right before the meeting. Okay, fixed. So I think we said we're now going to move to CDF Jenkins Zoom and Maki's looking at that. So Maki, assume, do you have access to the Jenkins Zoom? I see your... I do, and I am going to update the calendar to have the new Zoom link in there. Perfect. And Oleg, did we want to bump this meeting earlier? Was yeah, that something I would like uh, to discuss today. So I can probably survive with the current time, though if you move it to one hour earlier or two hours earlier, it would be better for me. So I can definitely do an hour earlier, so that works from my side. At two hours uh, with some juggling, possibly, too. I'm a plus one for one or two hours. I'm fine. Okay, let's do one hour because this look two hours might be a bit trickier. Sumit, what about you? Does that work for you? Yeah. Awesome. Mark, are you a plus one on that? Yeah, one hour earlier is great. Two hours earlier would be fine as well. So yep, okay. either is great. So while I'm updating the Zoom link, I will also update the timing for our next meeting to start one hour earlier mm -hmm. going forward. Yeah, one thing um, to discuss about that, do we want to keep publishing to Zoom link in public? Because it potentially opens us uh, to Zoom bombing. Um, I'm not sure whether we are too concerned for seat meetings about that, because in the worst case, we'll just uh, ban somebody and clean it up. Yeah. Um, I, I prefer not to have the, the barriers to finding the link. Um, so yeah. I'd be plus one to just leave it in the calendar and, and yeah, just see how it goes. Having been the victim of a Zoom bomb, yeah. <laughs> I, I can go either way. It doesn't matter to me. Oh, yeah. So I am fine with just publishing it. If we change our mind, we can just drop this link and create a new one. Yep. Yeah. So, um, okay, let me show my screen. We can get going properly. 
So we are recording now, right? Because uh, there is a recording flag, but at the same time, uh, so somebody is recording to the local uh, computer. I think uh, I have to go in and look at the settings, but I think when you, when the host joins as Jenkins, it automatically starts recording. I'll go through and uh, mm -hmm. I'll verify that it is uh, edited correctly and, and whatnot before it gets published. And I think uh, by default, this is goes to the cloud. So we don't have to worry about that. Okay. okay. So if it uh, goes to the cloud, uh, yeah, that's perfect. Okay. So just going through the agenda the So the April 9th recording, Mark, uh, I see if you're going to fix or have fixed that already. Excellent. And so we're going to switch over to this, and I'm glad to say that was finally resolved. So, Marky, you are updating the calendar? That is correct, to include the Zoom link, and I will be updating next uh, meeting, which is two weeks from now, for an hour earlier to be that same time going forward. Okay, great. So, means we should not have our same problems of having to do an emergency Zoom meeting. And it looks like this works at the same time as the other CDF meeting, because I believe there's the MLOps group having their meeting now. Okay. And next item is Jenkins on Kubernetes online meetup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So before we press it, I will quickly summarize the current Zoom state, if you don't mind. Oh, so sure. we have, we've got a, a Jenkins dedicated account from CDF, and we already battle tested it on Tuesday during the Jenkins online meetup. Before that, on Monday, thanks a lot to Mark and Mark, we did a special session to try different options. And yeah, that's why we were able to host a webinar. Uh, we also uh, discussed how we would automate uh, YouTube uploads later. And actually, the Zoom webinar is pretty useful because we also discovered features like polling, like uh, interactive q &A, uh, and we used them on Tuesday. And it uh, will help us to, uh, to gather some anonymous uh, data. For example, uh, maybe more polled people all about uh, usage of JCASC, etc. And we have a history of q &A. Uh, which we will uh, format uh, maybe to a blog post or whatever to q &A later with Nikolai. But yeah, overall, um, it's a great experience and thanks a lot to CDF uh, for making it possible. Oh, good. I can feed that back to Dan and Jackie. Quick question about the YouTube uploads. How does that work um, in terms of automating it? So, well, yeah, how does it work? So it's not set up yet. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm actually, I just updated the Zoom link and the calendar. I'm now going to turn on what is called uh, the automation, which is by a company called Splain. And essentially what that does is I will set it to private. Now let me explain what that means. When a video is recorded to the cloud on Zoom, it will automatically upload that to the Jenkins YouTube channel and will set the video in private. The manual aspect will uh, uh, be one of us going in making sure that the video is okay, adding it to the correct playlist, and then publicizing it. And that's it. Okay, nice. So it does some of the, the heavy lifting, then you can go in and do the, the human bits. That's correct. Yeah, and I'll also, turn that on. Oh, actually, sorry. Yeah, sorry. I think this is what Oleg was might, might have just been uh, about to say. I can't turn it on now. We need somebody from the CDF to turn that on for us. And if somebody at the email of IT at linuxfoundation.com. Yeah, so I was able to traverse this email. So it's not a CDF, uh, it's really Linux Foundation IT team. Uh, I have an action item uh, to ask them to approve this request and to clarify what it implies in terms of costs, but I haven't done it yet. Mm. Yeah, if that works, um, if we can figure it out, I'd love for CDF to do that um, for some of the other working groups yeah yep. also all, all they'll need to do is whoever is the zoom admin for the account they just need to log into the marketplace search for youtube automation they'll see something from a company called splain they turn it on it'll automatically log you into the youtube account you have to have admin in both 
and then you'll just turn it on and configure and then there'll be a button that says configure to private and that's it it's a super super straightforward thing yeah so we may need to, to jump on the call with uh, linux foundation it because uh, they don't have access to jenkins youtube account um, but yeah, I think that uh, this is a technical thing and we will be able to figure it out. And uh, meanwhile, it still works pretty well uh, like before. Because you click a button to download the video, then just drag and drop it to YouTube. And with modern uh, network channels, um, it's not a big overhead. But yeah, I agree with Mark that uh, having automation for that, uh, especially for automation projects, would make sort of sense. Okay, anything more on that? So one action item. Uh, Oleg, are you following up on that? Mm, yes. Um. Okay, thank you. So, ready to move to the next agenda item? Yeah, let's do that. So, Jenkins on Kubernetes. Uh, we discussed it a few times uh, at the SIG uh, meetings that uh, we, uh, so basically promoting uh, Jenkins and Kubernetes and doing it in April, May, just to somewhat much KubeCon timeframe and also uh, to facilitate contributions in this area. I started working with uh, potential speakers. Uh, right now I have uh, four talks uh, in the pipeline to be published. Uh, at different stages, uh, plus two meetups, which we organized uh, Friday uh, and uh, on Tuesday. And actually, it was a pretty big success, especially uh, for meetup on a Friday. Uh, Mark presented how to get started with Jenkins and Kubernetes. We had uh, 512 registrations, which is a historical uh, record for Jenkins online meetup. Uh, we had uh, 180 participants uh, talks um, at the same time, and we already got a lot of views on, views on YouTube. So it worked pretty well. Do you have the link to the YouTube video? Uh, it's a link to, uh, from the description. I can find uh, it. Okay, uh, that's fine. So... Yeah, so everything is published. We also uh, sent feedback form, etc. So this is the first time uh, we used feedback form for Jenkins. And actually it uh, also somewhat worked. Uh, though for the second meetup, we got more feedback. Uh, yeah, started uh, doing feedback form. Okay, for the second meetup, which we had on Tuesday. Uh, so one of our take, Ways on Friday was that uh, Zoom bombing uh, is actually a thing for technical meetups. Uh, thanks uh, to Mark for cleaning up all suggestions to enlarge your Kubernetes. Uh, so, uh, but uh, what we actually did, uh, we uh, tested a Zoom account. We hosted the second uh, meetup as a Zoom webinar. Uh, there we had uh, more than 140 participants, marks. Um, and yeah, Nikolai from uh, Efficot Pragma he presented a key study from the user side. So he showed how to do configuration as code with Helm charts, with JCASC plugin, with job dates and Kubernetes. Uh, it was an active discussion, a lot of feedback, and uh, I call it a total success. And also Zoom platform uh, worked pretty well. And I think we should keep doing such meetups. And moreover, I went ahead and started documenting uh, the online meetup platform. Uh, we'll talk about it uh, a bit later. But right now, I think that we have a platform which we can use uh, for hosting uh, online meetups and also for hosting um, uh, Jenkins area meetups and other meetups who want to have a virtual platform, uh, especially during the COVID times. It's uh, pretty relevant these days. So we can uh, help other contributors uh, to host events. That's really good. Um, I was just wondering about some, like with the YouTube videos, is that something we can, has anyone already tweeted them out or is that something we can do some tweets for? Uh, tweeted out, also LinkedIn int out or whatever it's called. 
Um, so yeah, we try to do this promotion uh, when we can. So, yeah, obviously, it also his bandwidth. But since we have a number of content managers for Twitters, we can uh, host them. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we can check uh, YouTube analytics to see from where viewers come uh, later. Um, but yeah, we tweeted it. We also posted it in LinkedIn. Uh, oh. So yeah, we got a uh, number of issues there. So I'm yeah. not sure how many watches do we have for Marquis uh, online meetup. Uh, Sure. No. So for Marcus uh, meetup, uh, less than one week ago, we had uh, 455 watches and also 22 likes, no dislikes. So, yeah. That's Again, pretty the, huge. Like, I thought uh, what I've looked at conference talks in the past, like getting up into the hundreds just a week after. Uh, yeah, I think that shows that people are not. They're kind of following up. All the people who registered are following up to watch it. Maybe people who saw it are going back to reference it and sharing it with other people. That's, that's and I can, I can actually say I had numerous, over 50 people DM me. Probably, I, I think I stopped. Uh, one person I actually spent Monday on a Zoom call with him. He was, his boss asked him if he could set this up on a Raspberry Pi using an arms image. So I actually, we got on a Zoom, we spent like an hour, I had to redo the inbound agent to work with arms, and we got it all working and he did a presentation to his boss and was like, super, super happy. So did I hear the next, <laughs> I, I had another meetup in the topic, so we're gonna get him to present that. <laughs> Why not? So no, if, exactly. you could, if you could awesome. get this follow up, it would be really great. Yeah, one thing we also started to doing, I mentioned uh, the feedback form, uh, but we also send feedback form uh, via contact all attendees uh, on meetup.com. So basically we sent one email with all links, including YouTube, slides, uh, demo repositories, and also ask for feedback. Um, so yeah. You get a lot of feedback? So for Marquis uh, meetup, we just got three responses or so. But we sent the feedback form uh, 24 hours later. For Nikolai's uh, meetup, we basically sent uh, it uh, once we get the video published. We also uh, mentioned it a couple of times in Zoom chat during the presentation because uh, feedback form was designed to be just copy and paste. Mm -hmm. um, and there we had six or seven replies. So still not that much. But uh, yeah, there are some follow-ups. So there is also one idea about the next online meetup. So I believe it works it. Cool. So what's the next one we have coming up? Uh, that's a good question uh, because uh, we didn't announce new meetups because of this platform things and other stuff. So I think it would be either Jenkins Kubernetes operator or another key study about uh, using uh, Jenkins and Kubernetes. This time uh, more focused on uh, developing pipelines with agents, etc. Cool. Mm -hmm. okay. No dates yet, so it's just a matter of uh, yeah, getting no, people uh, pinned down. Yeah, no dates, but uh, I think that yeah, for online meetups, we can uh, make announcements with one week advance. And uh, personal target I set uh, is to do meetups every two weeks because yeah, we could probably do it every day, but uh, we won't be able to do anything else in the community after that. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I target a, a meetup every two weeks. We have yes. one uh, tentatively planned for May, yeah. middle of May. Not one, actually more, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, so we, yeah, we uh, work with uh, Marky and uh, we'll likely have another meetup on May 15th, right? That's correct. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah, now let's keep the momentum going. Mm. Anything else on uh, meetups? It's pretty, pretty awesome stuff. We are looking for speakers. So if anybody watches this recording and want to present something, please let us know. Okay, on to roadmap updates. Oh, like this is yours as well. Yeah, I can probably just mm -hmm. screen share. 
Okay, so yeah, we are pushing forward with uh, the roadmap. Yesterday we had a first ever Jenkins roadmap meeting, uh, which was a part of the governance meeting. We got some useful feedback. And we got feedback from almost all special interest groups. So in the current state, it looks pretty good. Uh, what is our problem and the way we could definitely use advocacy and outreach uh, six help is the reaching out to plugin maintainers. Because we know for sure that there are plugin maintainers, especially company contributors who develop big features, uh, but we don't really have a good uh, channel to communicate to them. I was thinking about blog posts, Twitter, maybe online meetup to sp speak specifically about roadmap. Uh, but uh, all these uh, items will still uh, give us on the moderate outreach. So if somebody has any idea how to contact uh, maintainers, we could probably dump this information from a repository permission updater, then use SendGrid to send emails or something like that. Uh, but I'm not sure how appropriate it is and uh, also what would be the overhead to make it happen. So I guess that points to maybe a bit of a gap we have in the community and maybe we do want a dedicated channel or I don't know what the SIG equivalent would be of just a, a forum for plugin maintainers to attend. Uh, but we have to, I guess, make it valuable to them to keep coming back month on month. Yeah, we have this forum. This forum is called the Jenkins Developer Mailing List. Uh, it's used only for governance or for plugin development. but yeah, we know that not every plugin maintainer uh, is really a member of this uh, mailing list. Yeah, but I guess I was thinking of a more dedicated face-to-face -face meeting slot, which so we could like, encourage people to, mm -hmm. like plugin maintainers to to keep attending. And, and if we imagine there's enough things happening in the community every month, then it's sort of worth their time to attend and maybe kind of get feedback. I don't know how heads down people tend to be or how many we could actually get to, to show up. Yeah. So we have uh, plugin developer focused online meetups and we actually should schedule you know, one soon. So yeah. we could try to use it as venue uh, or probably we could create additional office hours. I'm willing to give a try, but uh, yeah, we need to think how it would be organized. Yeah, I think the, the the meetups we have are good. I think it needs to have kind of a regular predictable cadence for people to just get used to the idea. So maybe it just depends if we have the bandwidth to, to run that. But office hours, I think, for instance, could be a good one. And then we just start redirecting every single plugin maintainer to like attend the office hours, at least show up, you know, once in a while, because then you'll get a lot out of it. Yeah. Hopefully. So, yeah, we could we bribe them with socks. <laughs> Come to a meeting and we want to give all our plugin maintainers socks or something. We have socks. <laughs> we have socks. Well, uh, now we also have uh, t shirts, right? So, t shirts have been mm. added uh, to the marketplace. Oh, are they there? I knew they were coming. I hadn't seen if they yeah, were also, to go. also for Jenkins security gifts, we use Coffee Press. And Coffee mm. Press actually has a lot of Jenkins stuff. Well, yeah, it would be preferable to have CD marketplace. But, yeah. Okay, uh, I don't think, no solutions now, but let's bring this one yeah. up time to time and see what we want to do. Yeah, for sure. So I will uh, try to schedule um, online developer meetup specifically to talk about roadmap for plugin mm -hmm. developers. And yeah, I'll schedule it maybe in early May. Basically, I just need to sync up with uh, Marky or Mark or somebody who's uh, ready to co-host the meetup and we're ready to go. And then in terms of this group's um, items, so we've got this section, right? This is the advocacy and outreach section we oversee. Yeah. So we've got the guidelines, refresh, Google Sum of Code, Agent terminology cleanup and then GSOD community bridge, Oktoberfest. Yeah, we could add some more items. In principle, it's good. Uh, I think that I will add an online meetup platform here 
uh, once mm -hmm. you have everything merged. Yeah, it will be a bit post factum, but maybe it will uh, add a bit more visibility. Yeah, um, that's fine. Even if it's done in that bit, that, yeah. that would be nice. Mm, and yeah, if uh, anyone has any ideas what we could uh, do else, uh, let's just add them. So basically, right now we can drop almost everything to the roadmap uh, because it's under development. Actually, I'll mention to Alyssa because I think mm -hmm. um, she's trying to map out plans for her Jenkins as the way and that should go into the, the roadmap. I think, why not? Cool. Okay. Uh, next item, unless anyone has anything else on roadmap, is GSOC updates. So Google some of code. Okay. So uh, we are still in the project selection phase. Uh, we passed the project slot applications phase. And uh, good news is that we got all slots we asked for. I cannot uh, disclose uh, the number. I also cannot disclose uh, uh, the projects we are going to accept. But uh, as Orpid means, we are definitely very satisfied but, uh, by uh, what uh, we have got. So looking forward to this summer. Okay, and projects were announced as it may? Uh, May 4th. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. So yeah, we will oh. have a blog post about uh, projects. We will also ask accepted students uh, to create introductory blog posts, etc. during uh, community bonding or early in the coding phase. So as in years before, and hopefully we'll have a lot of content created as a part of JSOC. Yeah, and a lot of features. Great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I look forward to that announcement and yeah, all the posts and students to come. Mm -hmm. Okay, Google season of docs. Yeah, so um, Google season of docs, uh, we had a lot of reservations about whether we would start this program, mostly related to our admin and mentoring capacity. Um, one thing that the program this year, they slightly changed the timeframes. So now there is basically no overlap with JSOC. Uh, except uh, selection phase. Uh, and we also had a um, ORCAD meeting, sorry, governance meeting yesterday, where we discussed uh, that yeah, we need uh, ORCAD means and mentors to run this program. Thanks a lot uh, to Mark for stepping up. Thanks a lot uh, to Kristen and Mark and Sladen uh, also volunteering to help with getting it established. So after the discussion, we decided that, okay, we can uh, make it a uh, try and apply to this program. Um, I'm not sure whether we will be accepted because the target is just having uh, 50 organizations with one project each. Mm -hmm. So it's, the scale is much smaller than uh, GE SOC. Um, but yeah, we are going to make a try and I submitted a pull request which basically creates lending uh, and framework around it. Okay. I, yeah, I would good. yeah, I would appreciate the reviews, but I think that we will be able to lend it uh, today or maybe early tomorrow and uh, do the appli formal application. Marky, would you be available for Docs Seek meeting tomorrow? I guess it's uh, really yeah. early in your time zone. Uh, do, 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 I believe so. It's like super early, 5 a.m. For me, uh, yeah, I'll just I'll, I'll I'll be able to get up. I'll do it. Okay, or oh, we can just set another uh, the meeting to the next week. Mm -hmm. No, I'll, I'll I'll get up for it. My okay. wife's looking at me like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's your decision, but yeah, I recommend uh, doing it later uh, next week. But yeah, as you prefer. Okay, uh, so uh, I, I guess that's it with GSOT. Again, we don't really uh, know any specifics, but we will uh, make a try. And yeah. even if we do not uh, do GSOT, assuming that we have uh, funding flowing in uh, with community bridge, uh, and etc., etc., we might uh, do community bridge mentorship program later. 
So anyway, all the efforts we do, they are just investment in the future, even if we don't get accepted. Yeah, and I think like outreach tends to be another type of program we can funnel um, docs type projects into as well, because it's yeah, not just code ones. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it for me about the JSOT. Jenkins online meetup platform. Yep, uh, that's another uh, update from me. Uh, so um, yeah, we discussed multiple times that uh, due to COVID situation, etc., we don't really uh, have opportunity to host online events, sorry, uh, local events. And there was a discussion, what if we offer uh, Jenkins online meetup basically as a service uh, for um, uh, potential uh, organizers who used to run jumps and help them uh, to uh, make the events happen. And uh, since we had Zoom, I spent some time to document it. I also documented a uh, call for paper process for online meetups. Apparently we didn't have one. So, uh, well, we had one on the online meetup page, but it was pointing to non-existent uh, wiki page. Uh, I fixed that and there is a pull request which basically sets up a page which has better look and feel uh, and uh, all the documentation. And in principle, yes, we just use Zoom uh, webcast, we invite uh, everyone to pick up about Jenkins, whatever topics uh, they have in mind. And uh, so we are ready to help with hosting. Where is this page going to go? Like how would people discover it um, in general? So it will be linked from Jenkins Online Meetup. I also plan to write a blog post about uh, and send a message uh, uh, to still existing um, uh, Meetup organizers Slack workspace. So it still exists. Uh, but maybe we could also add a Jumbotron. Uh, like we are looking for speakers, uh, here's how to access it. Yeah, either those, yeah, for blog posts and then tweets and LinkedIn referencing it. Um, I yeah. think that would be good. Just want to make sure yeah. people know that it's a, it's an option for them. Yeah, I'll probably also set something uh, to the landing page. And right now we have uh, events uh, layout, which is quite empty in the moment because, mm -hmm. well, there is no meetups happening. Uh, there is no Jenkins world happening and basically it's uh, empty right now. So maybe I'll uh, do some magic around that and also put uh, CVP links uh, to this bar. Um, yeah, good. I haven't decided how to do that. I firstly want uh, to get uh, the framework out of the door. And uh, I commit to use it for Jenkins rule online meetup. We plan uh, one uh, for the next weeks. Okay, anything else on online meetup platform? Okay, let's go to YouTube. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, we will also need to update JEP 13 because JEP 13 was designed for Hangouts on Air. And my proposal is to actually just redesign it for YouTube plus Zoom because there is no particular reason to keep them separate. Yeah, I think when I moved away from Hangouts, it's just doesn't quite work as well. There is no that's yeah. on air anymore. So yeah. the job is updated slightly. Uh, it still has a lot of useful content for, because it's about YouTube content management in general, not about uh, hosting online events, but we could uh, combine it. Yeah, and that's one of the jobs I think I saw that effectively this group will own. Is that the case? I think so. Yeah, sounds good. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks for that, Oleg. Mm -hmm. So let's go to YouTube follower growth. Um, was this yours, Oleg, or Summit? Was that the one? I'm not sure. I'm Oleg mentioned in the chat channel, so I just mm -hmm. put a, a solution that could might that might work. So mm -hmm. yeah. So thanks for doing that. Uh, so just to explain uh, the context, uh, we have a number of uh, followers on the YouTube channel, but uh, this number of followers uh, doesn't grow, and actually it slightly declines. And my theory about that, that we produce too many notifications by seek meeting uh, recordings and other things. 
so it would be great uh, if we somehow prevented uh, these uh, recordings uh, from sending notifications. So they still need to be public, they still need to be accessible. We should promote them in Twitter and social media when relevant. But I don't think that we should uh, push in, uh, everything as notifications. For online meetup recordings, yes, of course. Uh, but for other content, um, I don't think it's uh, something desired. So except online meetups, yeah. Uh, well, I think we can just say it's uh, up to discretion of content managers. So you would push a notification by choice every time you decided to put one up, not automatically? Yeah, if it's possible, yes. Uh, if it's possible to somehow automate it for publishing online meetups, uh, yes as well. I'm just not uh, that familiar with features offered by YouTube. So thanks a lot uh, to submit for the link. What yes. sort of followers, how many followers do, are we, do we have? Right now, 2,000 something, I guess. I'm just a second. Um, so right now we have uh, 2,370 followers. Maximum, uh, what I remember was something like uh, 2,700. Uh, so yeah, the number slightly declined. It may be related to various reasons. So if somebody is uh, an expert in YouTube analytics and you can say why, uh, you're welcome to do so. Uh, but uh, yeah, for me, it's just something uh, which is a concern. Because, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and no, I think that's fine. So it's not a platform, I don't think, that anyone's really nurtured. So maybe a little bit of attention and we can get it headed in the right direction. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because for example, if you want to promote speci specific content, how we could do that? Uh, for example, if somebody presents uh, a demo at the seek, we could just uh, cut out this demo to a separate video and promote it. Uh, maybe link to original one, maybe post announcement for special events. For example, like yesterday's governance meeting, if you wanted to do so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, my assumption that just you push maybe one or two dozens video every week. It's quite a high number of notifications. So the notification, the solution, is that something you've already turned on or is that a to-do? I just uh, discovered it today, thanks to Sumi. Okay, so take so, a look. Yeah, I haven't tried, I have no idea whether I have permissions to configure that because I'm just a content manager. I don't have admin permissions on the account or okay. maybe I do now, with, <laughs> yeah. uh, we changed permissions. Uh, so I need to check, but yeah, you can just create a follow action item for me to change that if everybody is on board uh, for changing the notification settings. Marky, what do you think? I'm okay with that. Yeah, I think it'll be good. Okay, um, I had a, I'm gonna add in a few more things. So Marky, I noticed you had sorted out the voucher documentation. Do you wanna talk us through that? Yeah. And I will copy the link here. You're muted, Marke. Damn it. Damn it, you mute button. Uh, so I created a document. Uh, I listed the codes for that document. That those The spreadsheet for that is only available to a few people uh, that are more, it's just not available to everybody. And the process essentially is to never share the discount code publicly, provide it via email or direct message to the person that's you're gifting this to. Uh, mm -hmm. Let the person know that the discount code covers shipping. 
Uh, also update the spreadsheet that uh, Jacqueline, uh, Jackie had provided, which uh, just with the name, the date it was issued and the reason for the awarding. I did have uh, one question. Would it make sense that in our bi-weekly advocacy meeting, we did uh, just a quick, like we covered, hey, last week or the week before I gave this person this or this was given out. I just think it would be a good step to do where we're just basically letting everybody know what was done in this meeting. This would be great. Excellent. Then I will add that to step five. Mm -hmm. uh, and we can, this will now be our public sort of document. Yeah, actually, I had a question about that. Mm -hmm. uh, so one uh, problem or topic we need to address is how do we fund these uh, vouchers? Because right now, I believe that uh, it's basically uh, thanks to CDF because they provided us some. Uh, but how do we do it in the future? For example, if we need uh, to, not uh, if we run online hackathon, uh, we want to, uh, uh, to send uh, presents, uh, gifts uh, to 50 participants. And uh, let's say we have budget for that. So what would be the process for getting uh, additional vouchers based on this budget and how do we handle all this money thing? I think that would be via Alyssa and Jackie. Mm -hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong, Tracy. Yeah, that's my feeling. Um, so CDF has some amount of Mm -hmm. uh swag which they can kind of mm -hmm. let communities have or we can kind of apply and i think we're, we're trying to get some more formalized mm -hmm. process separately from that i think through kind of sponsorship through companies um which i know Ex Alyssa has experience with um mm -hmm. so they could for specific events give pots of uh money to to do that mm -hmm. and i guess the other side is just whether we want to use any of the kind of donations or other streams to to redirect yeah. uh, I but i think we should take it almost like case by case basis so we have mm -hmm. a hackathon how are we going to cover it if we have a specific hacktoberfest who's going to cover it and first yeah. stop is is asking companies if they they can sponsor yeah for us uh, there is a specific case which is coming soon is google summer of code mm -hmm. um, because yeah you won't be able to accept all applications uh well just because it's Google Summer of Code, we got dozens of them. Uh, also, not all uh, potential mentors uh, will be participating. Mm -hmm. And still, we would like uh, to send some kind of thank you to them. So last year, basically, thanks to Martin. Uh, he spent a lot of time, but uh, he got uh, everything shipped. So if you could uh, do it uh, via vouchers uh, this time, it would be much more convenient. And yeah, I guess we would be talking again about uh, a few dozens of uh, vouchers. And we have uh, money to cover them uh, in JSOC budget. Uh, but yeah, we will just need to figure out all this money transfer process. Oh, okay. So in that case, that one is more, how do we manage the process and yep. get the things to where they... Uh, let me look into that then. Yeah. So ideally, it would be great to document it as job. Uh, similar for to other things when we have this part. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it would be really nice if we had a process, for example, for community bridge. I know that community bridge is like putting from one pocket to another pocket because basically community bridge is still using uh, Linux foundation accounts. Um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, if uh, it was uh, there was a straightforward process to do that, uh, let's say within uh, weeks, uh, then it would be really great. Okay. Yeah. Let me mm -hmm. follow up on that one. So, and in that vein, like let's add it to um, yeah, we can use this forum to say, okay, here's the GSOC ones. Have we got them? And we can keep following up here. Mm -hmm. So for the socks, we do have, um, do we have candidates we wanted to go ahead and nominate or that have already been awarded that we want to share? At this point, we do not. Okay. Uh, do we want I can, to? Yeah. Go ahead. Go, no, go ahead, Tracy. 
I was just wondering, do we want to start using that sock pool for the G-Sock thing? And while well, I f figure out how to replenish or do we want to keep it a bit independent? I I'm fine with using that. I would like to, for the, uh, uh, this is a, a question to the team, for the non cloud bees individuals that were recently involved in the uh, automation release. I believe uh, Alex is one and there may be, I, I don't know. Alex what is not cloud bees. Right, right. Uh, that, non-cloud bees. Non-cloud bees. So I, I don't know if Tim, uh, Tim is also, I don't know if he's cloud bees, but for those, for that release process that just took place last week and this week, it would be awesome to award them something for their effort because that was a multi-day, uh, mm -hmm. many hour event and they were involved in that. It would be just awesome to do yeah, that. We have one for team, uh, but uh, yeah, I agree that uh, in general, we should be doing something like that, uh, especially if we have uh, donations because yeah, that's how we facilitate contributions. So if any, if everybody is a plus one for that, I would like to send vouchers to both of those individually. Both we, those individuals. Can we have actually? I did. I, I'm a plus one, um, but I wanted to know if. Um, what about? Can we have a? I, I keep trying to plan this party. Uh, can we have a session <laughs> which is like a party to celebrate that, and then we award them publicly in that thing and. Yeah. Okay, I, I wanted so, my goat to come to the meetup, you know, the, but <laughs> apparently that's booked out for months now. Yeah, but right. like having a, a just a way to uh, recognize that and get everybody together and celebrate it even virtually. Maybe if we did like a, a, a happy hour, like a virtual happy hour where we, we publicize what we're going to do. We'll do it like sort of in a webinar fashion. We'll mm. allow certain people to be panelists, but they won't know why they're being allowed to be a panelist and then that's when we'll sort of award them that job just sort of throwing things out and i think that would be really cool but then again on the same token maybe they don't want that sort of publicity uh so it's kind of hard to do that sort of like in the spontaneous secret in nature because they're going to yeah. be like oh my god my boss didn't know i was doing this <laughs> Okay, I like the, the happy hour. Let me talk to Olivier as well. And if there's a, we can schedule maybe a happy hour. Maybe we just tell them up front, like, hey, we want to celebrate your work there. We've, we've got something to award you. Are you happy with us doing it publicly? Otherwise, we'll just mm -hmm. send it to you behind the scenes if you don't want to kind of have it mm -hmm. stated. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, I will, I will, if you need me to help with anything, just let me know. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get you to um, sync with the folks and I'll, I'll just talk to Olivier if he's, he's happy enough to go ahead and do that now. Okay, I'll wait to hear from you. Or should I reach it? Should I start reaching out? I just want to know if I have an action item. Should I start actioning that I am? Yeah, Oleg, did you have any comments before you? Uh, yeah, I just wanted to ask uh, whether we have updates about uh, contributor packs. So, a couple of months ago, we discussed that uh, maybe we should be sending like, not just socks, but yeah, just a pack which would include, let's say, socks, uh, a few stickers, maybe t-shirts, etc., depending on the budget. Uh, but yeah, as a pack, uh, so that uh, we could uh, do delivery, maybe even a thank you certificate to put there. Yeah, um, I I don't. Yeah, I know Jackie was going to look into that. I remember we talked about like a pack that included like a hoodie. Or something like that. Yeah, uh, I think we yeah need to just get her to to join in again. See if we can do that. Oh, I will bring it up at the CF outreach meeting. I got invited to the next one to talk about the Zoom webinar platform, basically. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I'll probably use it as an opportunity to ask about uh, this whatever schwag bundles. Yeah. Yeah, I think if we fix the this meeting, um, I can reinvite all those folks because I know it. Mm -hmm. I had the action and I didn't quite do it, but now we've got it smoothly running again. I'll get Jackie and Alyssa and all those folks on onto the invite list. Okay. Okay. So, um, going back to that, yeah, Marky, let me. Um, 
Let me follow up with you next week. I, I think we're plus one, but let's kick it off next week. Um, so I'll have a chance to sync with Olivier, flesh out a tentative time, and then we can we can plan from there. Perfect. Okay, was there anything else? Look, all our, all our past actions are all done. That's great. Okay, I think looking at the time and how much we've covered, that's enough for now. So I'm going to say I've got nothing else. Any other topics from anyone else? Anything from you, Sumit? Thanks a lot uh, for joining the meeting. And you're welcome to, to participate. Thank you. <laughs> Planning to join the uh, future meetings too. So. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Thank you. Okay. I will stop sharing. And I think that's it, everybody. Awesome. If nobody has anything else, I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording. I think they're not